Hey everybody, I got exactly enough sleep to not go crazy so we can play more Elden Ring. I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not crazy. There's nothing wrong. Ooh, a centipede. I didn't even put that in my pocket. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I'm gonna kill a tree man. Hey, cool fellow. Hey, chop slapping Zeta. Hope you're all having a good day. Friday be upon ye. Weekend's coming. Thank God. Hey, Joseph. Hey, St. Patrick Star. By the way, St. Patrick Star, thank you for the tips on live stream. You're very, very uh, smart. What I like about the St. Patrick Star method is that he tells you about the thing, but he don't spoil you so bad. He can tell you about a million other things, but it's like, hey, you're in the area. You probably don't want to miss that. I appreciate that. Well, it's got a patch, but it's still kind of chunky. But I mean, it got a patch. Something. We'll get there one day. Where's that Erd tree? Man, if they patched it and made the frame rate worse, I'd be so sad. I'd still play it, but I'd be sad. Hey, Wolfie. Hey, Caden. Hey, Molten Amber. Good to see you. And chop slap poker all in ring. Did I kill the tree? Usually there's a little tree man around these in there. I suppose not this time. Or did I? I think I beat this one's ass already, actually. I don't know. It kind of reads like it's still here, though. Hey, but somebody with better memory. Did I beat the tree here or did I, like, mess that up? I can't remember if I beat it or not. I must have killed it. Because he ain't here to whoop my butt. Hey, Rick. Hey, Stomper. Hey, Epic Mobcaster. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. I completely forgot. That's okay. I booted up the game and it said, you have a old save file on the cloud compared to your new save file. You want to replace it? I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to replace it. What are you kidding? Oh man, I'm getting lag on the map now. That's a bad sign. Come on, don't break the game from soft. Don't do this to me, baby. what I do to deserve this? Hey, there's a, there's a big gaping butthole I missed though. Let's go check that out. Get some upgrade materials. Have I played Shadow of the Colossus? I played a little bit of Shadow of the Colossus, Caden. And thank you, Cool Blade. Good to see you, by the way. Damn, I forgot that. I was thinking about this game. And I was like, damn, I want to play it. And here I am. Oh, yeah, there's some there's some stuff to do. We got lots of stuff I could do, actually. So I guess this is going to be the catch-up stream and all the stuff I missed. Get off the horse. Son of a bitch. You get back here. Yeah, I got lightning strike. Ooh. That's a lot of bats. No, get out of the way thing. I can't see. Oh, that's the worst. better drink before lightning strikes me and I die. I'm taking these these fulgur blooms. Oh no! At least you know what? This does better than Breath of the Wild. I do like how it lights up. You know what? I, no, I take it back. I like Breath of the Wild. I like having to put the sword away <laughs> so you don't get shocked. It's a nice lesson in uh, <laughs> I don't know, not running around outside with metal stuff in your hands all the time. It would suck in Dark Souls though. Be like, you gotta, you have a, you have a sword. You gotta bring out the wooden club for this one, champ. It's like, oh no, why? Hey, Pax. Hey, uh, Dawson. Dos, Docant. 
Nevnir. I hope I got that right. I'm bad with I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. No high road ahead. Oh no. How do I get down there? Such bullshit. There's no way. There's no way I'm supposed to jump down this. And try the edge and all these blood stains all over it. Let's see how this guy fare. He's like, okay, I guess I'll do it then. And then, no, he's like, I guess I'll go back. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, uh, okay. So jumping off this ain't the answer. I sure want to be down there though. Then what's the point of... Hmm. Fine. There's another way down there. It's just, it's just gonna take me a minute. You backtracked to find every piece of star badge? Hell yeah, Stomper. I don't know about... This is a game I would like to 100% though, honestly, because it's fun enough all the way through. Maybe just because it's my bullshit that I love. I love, I love swords and fantasy. I love dark fantasy. Light fantasy can be okay. But even Lord of the Rings was a dark fantasy. You know what I mean? Even like, even Harry Potter's kind of a dark fantasy, honestly. To its credit, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, mind you. But I mean, like, I get it. Like, his, his parents got murdered. That's dark. Come on now. Don't be, you can't be ridiculous about that. But a dark fantasy, that's my stuff. I don't like my decaffeinated fantasy. I like my fantasy dark. Pretty close to the, on the second try. The moon veil is super nice. The moon veil is good. Meteor, meteor katana. I'm going to look that up. Because I got the, uh, the ore one that does the gravity stuff. Let me look up. I like the katana. Meteoric ore blade. And I got the meteoric ore blade. I already do have that. And it is good. Let me show, let me show it off. Let's just show off both the swords. This is what this one does. It does that, but then then you got the overhead, and you just have that, so it's like a cool magic deal. And then you got his brother, the or meteoric ore blade. What this does? Oops, it's a little waste of magic. It's fine. Uh, it creates a gravity well, and you can suck people in and then beat the shit out of them. But I don't want to waste upgrade materials because there's also like a big morning star and some other weapons that you know kind of kind of got my fancy you know what i'm i'm not guaranteed a refill if i go down there so i'm gonna go get my refill but i wanted to show those to you yeah the meteoric ore blade's real interesting and if i get enough upgrade materials that one's on the list as my secondary katana i've only played 10 minutes of the character select so far Caden, you should spend at least two hours on that however i do recommend the griffith character the griffith character is quite nice you start off with this spell called yeah glint yeah magic glint blade and it's actually really really powerful spell that i've not seen for sale anywhere so you know that's nice i can get it on a few weapons that, that have it but not like as a castable i hadn't found it so maybe it is available and i just no didn't notice it's possible i'm forgetful I ain't forgetting these frame rate issues though from soft. Please patch it so it looks like PS5. I got a PS5 and I went with PC because I don't want to buy the same game twice, especially not for $70 versus $60. I mean, come on. But uh that being said, these frame chunks in the open world make me sad. I gotta get down there, which I could probably just jump over here from. This looks safe. Ooh, Lily. Ooh, a thing I didn't grab. What's this? Give it. Faith not crystal tier. Hmm. That's for my magics.
You know what? I give it. I'm going to try something real quick. Okay, we're at 1080p. Let's see if it chunks. It still chunks a little bit, but let's see if it continues chunking. Yes, it continues to chunk. So... At least you can change the resolution real quick. So it's clearly not an issue of like, hey, your computers have it. I got to get out of the way of these enemies. Damn it. I want to go back to full graphics mode. Come on now. Leave me alone, monsters. Well, not full graphics mode. I could probably, I, I think running it at 4K would be a bit too much though. That would probably cause some slowdown. I wouldn't be surprised, but. I got invincibility frames while I get off the horse. That's cool. I don't know if that's exploitable for combat, but it sure is fun. Demi humans, I don't want to kill you. You can just run away. They don't run away. Demi humans fight for life. Okay, what's up? It's going this way. What are you showing me, Mr. Zombie Man? This is fun. Joseph, all they got to do is call me up and I'll record. Hell, I'll do it for free. For old time's sake. I don't think Dolan would let me do it for free, though. He's fair. He'll pay you. He's one of the people who pays you, honestly. That's the thing I miss the most about the job. Like, I'm not going to sit here on my soapbox and go, boo-hoo, actors got it so bad, boo-hoo. No, I kept my day job because I knew that already, but, you know. Oh, you're just leading me where I wanted to go to begin with. Thank you, zombie. Oh, wait, no, that's something different, I think. No, it must be the exit. It's the, no? Huh. Be wary of hole, thank you. I need to hotkey this thing. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Nev. I hope you don't mind, Nev. And if that's wrong, you can you can give me a shorthand for you. I'll do my best to remember it. Although it would be funny if I died mispronouncing your name. That would, that would be pretty cool. Okay, it's worth no. I can't, I don't have a sacred tier, do I? No, no, no. I need four for that. No, mysterious physics. Slightly negates damage. That, that looks pretty good, honestly. Let's see. Hench charge attacks. Boots faith. Boost intelligence. Which I don't see a use for. Pro I, I don't think that it's going to be significant there. Stamina boost would be good, though. Uh, that's what I went with for a long time. Steadily restores health. Uh, yeah, thanks. I like that. Regeneration's nice. Hey, Maurice. Wondrous Flask is interesting. Can I get more than one Wondrous Flask? Oh, it's fine, Joseph. I, don't, I appreciate the fact that you came here to ask me that. I don't mind answering questions about Planet Dolan. I love doing that job. Ah, damn it. I didn't listen. I didn't listen. I didn't listen. Now I got to hang out with the rats. Oh, they don't mind. This katana is so good. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but I want that treasure, so can I go back out and get it? Or am I just doomed? Oh, whatever. I'll remember to go back there. Gold bravery. I'll go down there. Man, this is the this is the whole thing I ran into. Right off the bat, we're on a, an amazing quest. Treasure. 
Moss. I'll take the moss. Yeah, a lot of blood spots there. I can't blame them, though. I'm kind of overpowered for this area, I think. I'm doing well, Jonathan. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing good, too. Hey, Santine Cloud Farter Doom. It's been a while. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing good. No boss ahead. Unlikely. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Give me the treasure now. Oh, I don't even need those because I got turtle shield. Oh, well, let's take the shortcut. Let's look at some blood stains. Oh, no, poor guy. Oh, he tried his best, but the rats got him. I like that blood stains work now. I kind of missed that at the start. Blood stains are one. Oh, he's trying to run away. Oh, he didn't make it. He tried, though. He tried. How about you? What happened to this guy? Oh, he's a caster with a rapier. Ooh, aw. That guy's kind of low level to be in there, I think. Good for him. Ooh, this guy's fight. Oh, nope. How about this one? Oh, big boy. One hand in the one hand in the uh halberd there. I mean not a not an awful choice, but it's really a two-hander, you know what I mean? You can one hand it, but yeah. God, I love this game. Hey me seeks, hey stomper, hey sauce boss. The the boss is sauce. Mmm, where's my cotton? I love the soft cotton. I'm going to duct tape two pillars to my feet. And with these pillows, I can jump off the roof of the house. Said every kid with a broken ankle. I want to go home. Nah, there's silver fireflies here. I don't know what the silver fireflies are for, but I got them. Lovable sort. Dry fire. Be wary, boss. Let's go. Let me introduce you to my friends. Bear like a big time to make a bear. All right. Oh, oh okay. I, 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 got, I ain't ready. Let me humans distract him while I ready my, my virgin protector. Virginity protector. Virginity protected. Shaw. Shaw. Oh, no. Get him, boys. Shaw. Ah, man, this sword is really overpowered. I hope they never t tame it. This is a really good sword. This might be my favorite Dark Souls weapon, but it's mainly because it's super overpowered. Spell Drake Talisman. Cool, we got the Spell Resistance Talisman. I can tell this looking at. Wait, hold on. That doesn't sound right. I think I already got that, don't I? So, what does that enhance my magic? Oh, I could double up my magic. All right, no, that's fair. It's something to have. It's not it's better than nothing. Geek Freak, good to see you as how I've been. I've been all right. I'm going to leave a rude message here. I'm trying to figure out how to play this game professionally and I got to leave a really like foul message here to do it right. I got rump. How do they do that? I'm confused as to how they do that. If only I had a...
I'm confused as to how they make the message all big. Coldix, I have seen the Destruna pilot. It's really good. You got big name actors in there too. David Hayter. Did you know David Hayter wrote and directed the X-Men movies? That was pretty cool. I don't know how they do the the funky butthole message. That That's going to bother me. Moonvale is OP as hell. If only I had a rump. See, that's not it. How do I... How do I do more? Ah, there we go. If only I had... I'm trying it's uh, they made it hard to be they made it hard I, shout outs to people who make these messages and I, that I do take a lot of research uh lover butthole <laughs> no it's not quite right Here we go. Visions of lover butthole. No. Visions of tarnished butthole. There we go. <laughs> All right, I did it. I feel, I feel satisfied with this message. Visions of tarnished butthole. I did it. Hooray! That took forever. Use the bloody Uchi Katana because you have I Arcane. I need to check that out too. The blood stuff's really nice. I'm glad they took a lot of the blood moves from Bloodborne and what have you. I should have put finger. I put my own spin on it. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, David Hayter directed. I think he directed the first one and wrote the second one. I forget exactly. He may have directed both. He's like writer and director on those. Pretty talented dude. Anyhow, sorry I was ignoring chat there. I was really focused on making sure my butthole message was seen. Okay, so uh, I need to go. I want to go here. So I can get some magical ore pieces that I desperately need. Visions of Lover present Rum. See, Rosie, that would have done good. Visions of frame rate depleting. Damn you, video game. Oh no, they're gonna get me on my horse? Not likely. That wasn't bad for a winger. It worked out. Tarnished butthole. It, you know, it's cannon. Get it? It's cannon. <laughs> oh, right, well, that's enough. 
I like this game because it's a really oppressive world, but the only like other people you run into are psychotics. Even when they're helping you, they're completely insane. The Duba Dagger is a good arcane weapon. I'll have to check that out too. I don't think I have that. Right now, I got like a bunch of intelligence weapons and strength weapons. Like, uh, I got the Black Knife, which is a good faith weapon because its passive effect reduces the enemy's maximum health. So if somebody tries to Estus on you, it's like, well, too bad I wore down your maximum HP. That's pretty good. I also got the frozen needle, which freezes and has a projectile that costs no FP. I got this, which is, I believe, an arcane one, isn't it? No, it's just strength and dex. It's, you know, scarlet rot. Causes rot buildup. That could be really good. This one is definitely an arcane one, though. It's got, like, a bunch of extra skills attached to it. No, what I'm looking at here outside of the meteoric orb blade, I want something a little different, right? So I'm looking at the great stars because it's a big whopping two-handed two -handed blunt weapon that causes bleed and heals you a little bit every time you hit something. That might be good. Or great club, you know, because I need a blunt weapon, don't I? Grafted Dragon would be fun, too. It seems like uh, Arcane Faith is really the way to go, but this moon, this sword's really good. It can be wielded by dummies. I like the Astrologer Staff because it looks like a baton, but, uh... A Glintstone stat plus one still rocking pretty good. Seal wire or torch is interesting. You get a fire breather effect. You can blow fire on the floor, but it's not. I mean, maybe it's a good weapon. Maybe if you upgrade this, it could be really good. Intelligence does slap hard. And I got a bunch of shields I'm never going to use because tur Great Turtle Shield's best shield. I, I don't see why you wouldn't use this one. 100% damage negation, stamina regeneration, and a super block. I mean, these other shields don't even come close. Unless you're going to use it offensively like this one. And smash people with it and make them bleed. Anyhow, my main issue is that I don't have enough uh, endurance to carry anything. I should keep a good blunt weapon. Yeah, I agree, Sentient Far Cloud. I ran into a boss and I just used the default Morning Star with no upgrades on it, and I just managed to beat a boss with it because it was just that good. The regular ass Morning Star is fairly good in this game. I recommend it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm way too high. I don't need to sneak in here. Kick all their asses. Ah. Fucking anchor. Yeah, you know, strength, strength and all that's really good. Okay, smithing stone X1. That's fine. I could use some X, some times one smithing stones anyways, so I don't mind raiding this place. I like the ore mines because once you figure out what these little guys are on the map, it's real obvious, right? It's like, that is an ore mine. I get ore from there, and I can upgrade weapons. Maybe I'll even get some of that level one twinkling stuff here. What do they call it? Shining rock, whatever. Yeah, of course, we're all live. Die. Wakey, wakey. I think that the game suggests I should have found this first, but it leaves you close enough to like real progression that you could actually break, you know, break the progression and do something way out of your league and still accomplish it and come back here and go, what's this low level bullshit?
this looks like a tutorial mine in fact but i mean you know it's pretty low in resource materials anyway so this is fine i'll take it oh yeah and this does magic damage to this blade so even if something's resistant to slash it still gets hit with magic pretty fairly so turn back seek treasure chest okay uh, i will i noticed there's that one area You know what? I'm gonna rate these messages up. I hope these guys are fighting bosses right now. I like when somebody rates a message, you get a heal. I've seen that save somebody's life in a boss fight. It was amazing. Got a baggie of lavender and showed it to your mother, and she says, Smells like weed. Eh, all right. I don't think lavender smells like weed personally, but that's fun. You sure you don't just have weed, Joseph? It might just be weed that you have. It may not be lavender at all. You may, you may actually just have a bag of weed and not realize it. Oh yeah, my my funny light. There it is. Cool, somber smithing stone. We can use that to upgrade one of them fancy weapons. I do like that the somber stones are just one, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't have to collect a million of them. It shows a lot of restraint on their part that they were able to go like, let's not, let's not make it like the green stone stuff in Dark Souls uh, one, where you had to like grind out slimes or whatever and get like fifteen green titanite shards. I'm glad they didn't do that. charitable praises thank you master i didn't mean to say it like that i meant to say master crota oh whatever look <laughs> being a wise ass sometimes you say words funny that was not intentional oh well this is why i don't got sponsors no that's not why i don't have sponsors it's because i keep every time they email me i say cool so your product has a lot of lead in it right because i want to sell lead to people <laughs> they hate that they never find it funny. I don't know why. Sha! Oh god, I just I let oh, I let him have all three hits. That's embarrassing. You're already at a thousand Desmond Kraken. I believe it. This is a fun game to die in, though. They 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 made sure that you didn't have to do too many runs. In fact, I'd say the runs from fights to bonfires are less severe in this than in previous games. Not this time. I could have just hit him. That attack is punishable. Oh man, look at my health regenerate. Look at it go. To be fair though, I spend so much time running around through dungeons that might actually be significant after a point. You good, Gold? I'm glad to hear. Well, I mean, you know, relatively good. I hope your property is fine with that earthquake stuff. That's that sucks. Hey, soft cotton. Take it. I don't know what this guy means, but I'm rating his stuff up because he, he worked hard on that message. It took a minute. There's not a hidden path that had that's horse shit. Those don't appear till later in the game. I say later, but I guess any of this can happen at any time. St. Patrick Stars says they love how the game tells you where your runes are after you die. That is awful nice for them to put it on the compass. I like the compass. The compass is a very nice uh, addition. How the old Dark Souls games could have used a compass. That isn't even something you just need in an open world. Although I suppose it would often not make any sense is a problem. Since the Dark Souls worlds aren't perfect, they align. It's a little bit of magic here and there. non including logic. 
Radin is the most, uh, Radon is the most aggravating boss in the game. Oh, boy. I don't think we fought him yet. Or if we did, I just didn't recognize his name. Okay, good smith and stones. Well, we got a boss fight here. Oh, it's not the one he's warm things, isn't it? Well, I hope you're fine. This thing's so dead. Get him, boys! I'm just gonna let the... I'm gonna let the Demi-Humans fight this guy. Get him, Demi-Humans! You can do it! I believe in you! This game just became Pokemon. I love my caveman tribe. Look at he's freaking out. He's going in. He's angry. Get in there, Oog. Now's your chance. I'm supposed to be a boss. You can't do this to me. <laughs> No lesbian cage, brother. I'm sad for you, Joseph. You'll get one one day. Uncle Russian asks, how's Elden Ring treat me? Good. I got Ooga Booga Tribe, and they kick ass. Hey, I got the anchor. I saw Bryn Daniel swinging that thing around. Let's take a look at it. What's it, what's it, what it do? I doubt I'm going to like it more than my sword, but it's something. Where's that anchor? Barbaric Roar. I mean, it's got good strength scaling, but it doesn't look too special elsewise. I wonder what happens. I, I might have to see what you can add to it, though. Like, if you put Ash War on it, it might become really powerful. Like that one Ash where you just hold down the button, your character just swings endlessly. Might be really good with a weapon that scales good with strength, but... To compare it... Ah, uh, you know what? It scales better than the Great Club. And the Great Stars. Well, I don't know. If you got Dexterity, it doesn't scale as good as the Great Stars. And it weighs more. And the damage increases slight. Yeah, it depends on your stats, I suppose. Yeah, Demi Humans did good. Mimic Teardrop is OP as fuck. Highly recommend it once you can get it. I'll have to look into that. Well, this was a fun little area. Did I explore all of it? I guess it doesn't matter too much, but... Let me do one little run through here. Make sure I didn't miss any ores that could be important later on. Like, I could have a whole bunch of high-level ore, right? This is a lie. There's no secret here. Anyways, if I got a whole bunch of, like, level 8 and 10 ores, but I ain't gotten a level 1 ores, it caused me issues. There is a place I heard you can go fight and go get a bell thing, give it to the merchant, and then buy the ore, which is probably the ideal thing to do. But, well, I don't know where that is, and honestly, I'm having fun just running around. All right, just being double sure I didn't miss anything. It was fun to watch the Demi-Humans want to fight on their own. That was cool. Okay, I need to do that. 
Not smart enough to mark it, but let's teleport over, take the road. Hey, Flirth. You got four demigods left, and you're just gonna be cleaning up. Thank you. I will. I will have good luck for sure. Oh yeah, this lady. And talked to her in a while. What's up? There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Hell yeah, comet shard. I'm too dumb to use it, but if I put on a cra crazy hat, it'd be fine. I got the baby version of this, but th those individual bitches don't do enough damage for me. I feel like it's worth it. Wait a minute, hold on. I got my magic all funny, don't I? I just need to reorganize it, honestly. Try that one. The burst. I haven't tried the burst yet. Crystal Barrage, I tried. It eats up way too much mana. And I won't be enchanting anything with this sword. So, yeah. And I would take the Arc Blade thing, right? But since I got the Katana, the Glintstone Arc is kind of taking a backseat to the Katana. So there's no real reason to have that up. You're in a place called Furumazala. They hate it here. It's hell. You're very late in the game. It gets real rough, says Far Cloud. I, I bet I've ran into some stuff. It's scary already, and I'm not even near end game. Five's it, right? Why can't I bring up my map? Yep, five's it. This is where I need to go. I'm just wiping up on some low-level stuff that I passed on, which honestly really wasn't necessary for me to do, but there may be a thing or two that I want. Who knows? Hard to say. Hey, dude. Oh, oh, you want to fight? Yeah, yeah, that, that's for bullying me last time. Now it's not so fun to bully me, is it? Rose, I agree, although in this game in Bloodborne, grinding are pretty effective. I was a little bit disappointed in Bloodborne about how easy it was. Like, if you grind, you get more armor than you would if you wore armor, right? And this game follows the same path, but that's not necessarily bad. That's just me, like, you know, holding on to traditional RPG roots and, you know, eh. Half the fun is learning how things work, you know? So, let's fight this thing. But yeah, you're not wrong. A lot of my damage comes from my weapon, not my stats. I like that, too. I don't like you. Die. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to beat me. Oh, he's going to beat me. He beat me. Oh, that's my bad. See, I have hardly any armor. No, actually, I let him hit me. That was the first mistake I made. Oh, man. We're going to be up to 300 deaths in no time. That's okay. No, I'll show him. I'll show this guy who's boss. I think it's like every hard game, though. Some people are like, oh, my God, it's impossible. It's like, yeah, well, I've seen people who are really bad at video games beat the uh, Dark Souls and Cuphead, you know? It's not, it's not necessarily raw skill. It's about, you know, learning. Like with this guy. He's going to pummel him this time. No mercy. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's how it feels. Bloodhound's Fang. Oh, okay, I'll take it. That boss is easy to parry, man. I quit parrying because I couldn't tell what is like what I can parry and what I can't. So I'm like, screw it. I'm dodging slash guy. It usually happens to me in these games, though. I got spoiled by Sekiro, though. Sekiro was nice enough to put a little, you know, uh, symbol above the enemies when it's like, hey, you can't parry this one champ. I'm like, oh, okay. Where this game's like, nah, you'll learn or you won't. It's up to you. But you know, hey, it's a personal choice. I do like that. The game doesn't require parrying, so they didn't like, you know, baby you too much on it. What are you guys looking at over here? What you got? You should bully these guys. You'll be surprised what they drop. They look like they got something. That means they do. These guys, I don't think, have it. This one's running away. What do you got? Oh, never mind. They don't always have something, but sometimes they do. It's worth killing them for it. Did I do this? Yeah, I did this. Oh, yeah, that area. Okay, I got to go to gate front. Been a while since I've been to gate front. That big giant guy was the first guy I started grinding XP off of. He gives a thousand per. He's really not a bad thing to kill over and over again, but there are better ones and easier ones to kill if you want XP. Of course, you got to kill a boss or two to get to those. This is that one, though. You don't have to kill a boss. You just run up and get a couple thousand off him each time real quick, like. That's what you get for tooting your horn at me. St. Patrick Star says Souls games just give you controls and tell you to figure the rest out yourself. Yeah, and I like that about it. It keeps the mystery high. And the frame rate low, apparently. Come on, man. That's 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 my only real complaint about the game. I thought I had complaints about the game, but I, I turn, turns out I love everything about it. But and this frame rate stuff on PC is just a disappointment. It shouldn't run like that. I don't know what causes that. over here Ooh, that's a long reach and he does some significant damage okay oh okay okay fine be that way oh my goodness and yeah, they didn't skimp on the follow-up attacks that these enemies have so having like a ranged slash like that's super useful We both do a lot of damage, but we're weak. Ah, you jerk. Oh, yeah? Okay, never mind. That's a really good move. That's her, Those are both really good moves. Where's my health? Oh. Okay, fucker. Oh, he blocked it. Block this. Oh, no, I didn't do the magic thing. I gotta sheath it and swa. Sheath and swa. Oh, no, no. There we go. That was sloppy, but hey. Ah, uh, cool. I, I can... I don't know what aspects of the Crucible is, but I can have a giant funny tail now. Souls games only games where everyone else is the main character, but you kind of, yeah. I'm just another Tarnished. No big deal. 
I fuss with all the kinds of other settings to try to get the open world to not, you know, chunk so much, but every time I turned everything down, it didn't change anything, so... It's a shame to see that it got patched and nothing really got fixed, but... I mean, from sought the work on it, right? They wouldn't just leave it in a half... ...made state, would they? Would they? I mean, Prepare to Die Edition had its problems, though. Maybe that's to do with that netcode thing they had to fix up. It's like, well, we gotta rewrite the whole thing. Well, what's that gonna do? Well, it's gonna tank the frame rate for one. That may be it. I wouldn't be... Actually, that makes a lot of sense the more I think about it. I mean, you know, what big change happened? Well, they had to redo the netcode because of remote code exploitation. So, yeah, there's that. Cross legs. Hey, new emote. That's fine. It's still playable. You know, I, I can't complain too much. It'll get patched eventually. Thank you, Master Crota. I'm going to call you Crota so people don't get confused because sometimes I say words funny. I try to avoid little, little traps like that. Not that you're trying to trap me. Not that I would really care too much. It's just a fun word game, honestly, with chat. It's like, what's your name? <laughs> I got to like read it in my head because it could be like, my name's Amanda, Amanda Hogan Curse. I'm like, oh, damn it. I read it out loud. You lose jellyfish. I think I've been over to jellyfish area before. Like nothing of interest over there. Or Master's Shack. I don't know. Let's check it out. Pretty sure this is where I got the jellyfish ashes, though. Pretty sure it was like over here or something. Yeah, I remember distinctly getting the ashes here and going to jellyfish. We haven't talked to the War Master in a while. Rose, Rose got it. What well, rhymes with Crota? Soda. Ah, hello. Glad to see you safe. Here to learn a battle art or two. Got any new ones? No. Okay. There's something I know here because I ran across on accident while getting some ups in my spare time assuming this works at nightfall something bad happens yeah pahagatron <laughs> i remember him he's, he's oh he's not here man i came here at night one time and there's a big mean ugly boss man i guess he's not here now though or maybe i gotta like leave and come back let, let me leave let me teleport away then teleport back and see if we get the boss fight because there was one here i saw it i didn't hallucinate that but i was like oh damn i can't fight you now i gotta do that on stream even if you got super i'm putting like <laughs> so many things down while i'm trying to quick travel throw the boss at me hope he's gone Yeah, here we go. Ball bearing hunter. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, settle down there. Oh, that's a shield. I thought he fell down. Or bell bearing hunter. I'm sorry. Hey, vamp sister, good to see you. My sword runs on batteries. Shot. I finally got a bearing to give to the merchant, so that's cool. That guy had a neat sword. Now let's go back and see if that changed anything with the dude who was standing there. Yeah, I'm actually doing damage, vamp. Can you believe it? 
Moonveil boss one shot you in your level 42. Ah, damn. Chop slap, you definitely got to get some summons. Uh, I got, if you're watching and curious, I picked up the Ooga Booga tribe. God, I can't remember where it is, but it's along the coastline here somewhere. Yeah, here, here. If you go here, you can get the Ooga Booga tribe like I got, and they will help you out a lot because they're real tanky and there's five of them. And the bosses hate them. Let's change it to daytime too while we're at it. Yeah, Rosira, uh, Rosira. I don't know how to say your name. Uh, Rosiria, Rosiria. It's a tough one. I'm gonna call you Rose, or Lay, Lee, Lay, Lee. Uh, I, man, word name, names are hard. Names hurt me. So what do you got to say? I killed that guy. Ah, hello. Glad to see you safe. Here to learn a battle art or two. You got more of them now. I killed that guy. Uh, well, until we I think I should just kill him now, but you know, that's the part I'm looking forward to at the end where it's like, okay, time to kill my old merchant friends because I'm leaving to New Game Plus. Oh, I hope New Game Plus is real robust here. Let's see. Yeah, let's teleport here, then roll backwards. This whole area has been relatively unexplored, and there's an Erd tree there. Leah. Ah, Leah. Yeah, there we go. See, there's like three ways to say it. Not your fault, though. wonder how that works. Just generations of people like, you know, what was the first true way to say that name, right? Like to make a bunch of people mad and be like, actually, historically, that's wrong. You're saying the name wrong. <laughs> like, no, I've been calling myself this my whole life. I bet wars have been fought over that. Wondering. Well, I can't do anything about that till I move. That's funny. This area runs better, though. Like the entryway open world chunks, but these areas don't really lag so bad. I don't know what that's about. But it makes me like this area better. Are you going to fight me or something? Ah, okay. Loot your friends while you run away. Hey, I got his helmet. A triumphant sip. Goodbye, great one. The great name Moors, hell yeah. Um, it's actually pronounced Nell? Aria? It's actually Aura? I'm gonna steal your treasure, you can't stop me. Okay, they can stop me. I gotta kill the big guys. Fair enough. Hey. Oh, oh. 
Oh, you shit. Magic sword. Probably don't want it. My magic sword I got right now kicks a lot of ass. But you know, I'll, I'll hold on to it. We'll check it out in a minute. I didn't mean to kill that dog. It just ran into my sword. die if I'm not careful. Oh, bastard. Sanctuary stone, huh? I don't think I've got one of those yet. Not, the, not what I wanted to target. Damn it. I was, I was trying to go after that one guy, but it targets the dog. I don't know why. I guess the dog is a greater threat in ways, but... Fine, don't auto-target anything. Don't auto-target a damn... Oh, fuck! Ah! That's my fault, but you know what? I've had enough of this dog. all your treasure oh you're a tough guy huh i got a magic sword too finish him necessary item hey eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, smithing stones are good. I'll take it. Gathering up enough of them lilies, I could do some real damage. If sleep is as OP as they say. The thing is, if it's so OP, I gotta, like, watch a video of it or something because I won't have enough arrows to really experiment without, you know, using up my arrows. Hello, ghost thing. You look tough. Okay, you, you are pretty tough. And magic resistant. That's excellent. And you got spells. Lovely. And you teleport.
Well, if he fell on top of me, I'll just cut open his gooch then. No finisher for you. Troll Knight Sword. Hello. I'm gonna look at these swords. Turns that into a great sword. Interesting. What does this do? Looking at the distant roar, generating a powerful shockwave that blows people back and a strong slam attack. Cool. Oh, and I can wield it too. And it's a colossal sword. Let's equip it real quick. Take a look at it. Not bad. Kind of like the move set. Unfortunately, it weighs me down, and the katana is really good and leveled up, so won't be playing with that for a little bit. There's a sword that could put people to sleep. Ooh. Fancy. Wasted magic on these guys. Go ahead, do your thing. And, oh! I didn't expect that. I thought he's gonna belly flop. There it is. There's AoE. Stupid troll. What do you drop? Another troll knight. So, oh, I can't dual wield them. I don't. I wouldn't know how. But I got two of them. What are the jellyfish garden? You know, I like the jellyfish. Just don't touch them and you're fine. They mean no harm. They're just chilling. Lobster mania down there. Any grace? There's probably like a grace point like right next to me that I just keep walking past. Wouldn't be surprised. troll message okay nice to take a look though here i got a mushroom that was worth it all swords put people to sleep to varying degrees that's true oh, some angry jellyfish over there they're definitely protecting something Drive by, excuse me, fellas. Uh oh, here we go. Jellyfish shield. Ooh. There's some grace.
Thank you, Rose. We got lobster mania over there, which is nice. I kind of want to get to the tiny herd tree first. And on the way back, on our journey back, we can check out the little... I don't know if to call that a lake. It's more of a marsh. Check out the marsh. After we take care of this tree business. I must be missing something. Eh, whatever. I'll find it later. Whatever it is. I got another mission. Why is it always sadness? I don't, I don't get it. sword dance that might be interesting i haven't really applied an ash of war though because this weapon's so good why would you replace it you couldn't if you wanted to anyways but hey dungeon A Rayman McDonald's toy? I don't understand that character's arms and legs are detached. How do you do that without like some fancy magnets and even- I don't know. Melancholy is the DNA of souls. Yeah, kind of, but then you see the players running around and they're like, try finger butthole. So what are you gonna do? do over on that one <laughs> hey nice good to see you again bud hey ren as well ren says is it me or do dungeons feel a bit more scarce in the later half of the game i guess they are maybe maybe i missed him who knows i have to look at the oh why not fall for this a second time damn it i to shield that oh yeah and also ah, you little magic pixel having what'd you drop cool those are good but still. Humor adds brevity. That's true. Gallows humor is a very important part of uh, sadness. Forge great sword. Neat. Better to just block these guys, really. It's easier. Did 
These ain't secrets. Oh, no, wait, well, it actually is. Holy shit. the true path or optional secret path Booga Booga tribe assemble distract him Oops. wrong Ooh, here we go Shaw. Oh man, this guy's kind of... No, he's not that tough. And where's the real enemy? Oh, there he is. Hey, you little so-and-so. Go tonight, boys. Ew, Glenstone Sorcerer. Eh. Kinda. Kind of eh on that, but it's alright. Bam says they wish uh, Elden Souls and Dark Rings or Dark Souls didn't focus on picking in class because you could toggle the sands either way, so it's pointless. It would be nice if they had like the pre-built class, then a created class deal. A created class thing wouldn't be the worst. I agree. That's a that's a fair point, Vamp Sister. Why not let me, uh, you know, choose my own starting stats and all that, and the weapon that I wanted to start? Yeah, it makes sense. I understand that the uh, other classes are meant to be like a guide, right? Damn, another secret wall. Goodness. God, I gotta get my endurance up so I can wear some armor. Hopefully that'd help me. Watchdog staff. Cool. Not today, goblin. Oh no! Yeah, okay, soldier ashes. We got some ashes out of it. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I like the demi humans way too much because they're real tanky. Yeah, sentient far cloud. You gotta like pick the the lowest level one and start out and have the game rough you up a bit, which I suppose that's fair. But I mean, oh, 
What do you know? That's meant to kill me on the way out, I assume. This is an interesting little dungeon. Yeah, Ren, I got it. Thank you for the tip, though. I think I would have gotten that one either way, but I can't be forgetful. Your app crashed and you got an Elden Ring ad on my video? Well, you know, that's funny. Why well, put an advertisement on a game that somebody's playing, though? That is weird, isn't it? It's like I'm already advertising it. I've been, I've been advertising it pretty damn good. Despite the PC game problems, I still advertise this and recommend it. I understand why the people with like 3090 graphics cards are upset about the hitches though. Cause I mean, like if I spent $1,800 on a graphics card and I played this, it's like, up, 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 up. it's like, dude, I paid so much money to have this not happen. I get that. It's a little sad. Now we got to find our way up here to the tree I don't think any amount of overclocking can help you on the the hitching issue sadly double dipping yeah but they gotta pay for the ad you know what I mean like this this is this here is basically for free at least for them it's for free they don't have to pay for it I'm I'm too allured by the funny castle I gotta go here first can't help it level 64 hell yeah that's a good level to be what level am i i'm level 76 yeah with really weird uneven stats but whatever i'm getting stuff done rudy and guide the that's a locked in message too What do I gotta do, like a spell here or something to make it open? Or a pose? Ah, oh, there's the upstairs area. I saw that item down there. I need the horse, don't I? Horse! I love you, magical double, double jumping horse. Good. Good horse. Stuttering issues from large open areas. Yeah, but you know, it runs smooth on PS5, right? Like the console versions don't have that issue, so. That's a frustrating part, but you know, I having to, if I had the choice is like, Hey dude, it's going to be a little choppy in some areas, but you get it on launch or you can wait a month and a half for the PC version. I'd be like, dude, just release it now. Just release it now. Everybody wants it so bad. It'll be fine. Memory stone. Good. I can put another spell on. Can I can, I can also. No, I don't know how I get another talisman upgrade. I had one, then two, then three. I'm not sure how I upgraded that, but that's fine. They got the rest later. I'm fine. 
Magic grease. Ooh. Pretty sure I go this way. Yeah, okay. Roads. Yeah, well, well, yeah, of course I go. There it is. I'm so obsessed with going the wrong direction. I don't know. Big tree man, I'm here to kill you. Booga Booga tribe silently assemble. Get him, boys. Ooga Booga Tribe, you got it. Yeah! Cool. I gotta kill a dude to get to that plateau. Ooh. I really doubt there's any like extra treasure laying around here. I'm pretty sure killing that guy was a treasure. Doesn't hurt to look around though. Okay, so I gotta do fancy stuff to get that plateau, but we could check out the coast. Be to the west. I guess I could use my eyeballs to figure that out, but here we are. The open world really is impressive, Vamp, but uh, I am surprised. I thought it would be smaller. More condensed. You know, before we go coast hopping, though, let's refill our stuff. May as well. It's not too far away. Panyata Enjoyer says, This is a great game every time they kill a boss. And after many tries, they want to kill it again. Great game. 10 out of 10. I agree. This is a 10 out of 10 game. I love it. Couple technical issues, but that'll be patched out. And unfortunately, patches are just a, you know, fact of the industry now. These games are so big, though. You know, I, I do appreciate that Nintendo games never really needed to be patched, except with some of them that still remain broken to this day, but... The games are way smaller. Why can't I use the map? Because these guys... Stop it. Oh, God. Oh, God. You jerks. I just wanted to look at my dang map. You forced me to do this. And you. There we go.
Yeah, it looks like I'll go over the edge there, though. So I gotta... That old coast is a bitch. Yeah, all right, all right. I just may not have access to the coast until I, oops. I almost thought I went over a huge ledge there. Did I take down the big guy? Yeah, he's done for. Don't worry, it was just like all the other trees. He wasn't special. Let's take a good hard look at this area. Oh, hey, hey, giant cliff. I'm not getting down there from here. Oh, is it that or I got to like circle all the way? I'll do it. I got to check out the entirety of the coast anyway, so I may as well start from the north and make my way down. The thing I can't say straight village is under that plateau. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, there's still that there's still like a huge drop from here to there. Makes this kind of a tough one to crack. And it just gets higher over there. Maybe there's a breach somewhere where I can enter, but this is looking all like a sheer drop. I just want to look at my map, you dumb dog. Now you just want to die. You just want to die. You just want to die. Okay, it's fine. Die. Oh, now they're crying. Like, Ooh. Oh, hey. I killed your friends. You want to die now too? Okay. Here we go. Oh, God. You know, I'm just going to get off the board. Hey. Leave me alone. only one who made a sexually muscular gal well you know it's more fun to make a mutant for me anyways but everybody's got their taste and that's the fun part about the game you get to decide what your character looks like they could use some more hairstyles though not to get into the not to get into dumb controversy or anything but even for like just regular hairstyles is kind of anemic yeah it looks like i gotta be up here maybe i don't even know if this coast is traversable doesn't look like it now now i'm taking a closer peek i got a feeling it's untraversable i guess that makes the decision on where to go next easier What's on this island? Popeye? Oh, hell yeah. I wish I could change the forearm size. Yeah, Rose, I ain't, I ain't trying to be that person, but there's just like, there's like an afro and that's it. <laughs> I gotta admit, you know? <laughs> That doesn't make the game bad. It's like, oh, come on, man. You could have surely a couple more hairstyles were a feasible thing to do. Come on. 
You can make Kanye West in the Demon Souls remaster. You got two choices for a person of color, bald or afro. <laughs> That's, I mean, you gotta, it's kind of funny, but it's also like, oh, come on, man. You, you surely, surely you could have thrown at least a dreadlock haircut in there or something. Just something. <laughs> hey, stupid. Good to see you, buddy. Ooh, a, a puzzle thing again. All right. Puzzle tower. We did one of these before and we got a really good piece of loot. So what's the puzzle? You must solve the puzzle enter. Okay. Well, that's a really good tip. <laughs> okay. Where's my, uh, here we go be able to see a little easier see three wise beast okay oh it's a turtle thing again one turtle you can make it charles manson that's fun Hey, another zombie. That must mean the turtle's nearby, right? Last time one of the turtles was invisible, it caused me a lot of trouble. monster butthole required nice <laughs> you get a right now where is that turtle still no dog people can't find the dogs i'm sorry those aren't turtles they're clearly dogs usually not too far from the tower at least I only did one of these prior, though, so I couldn't tell you for sure. I assume these dudes respawn. Oh my god. I would have never found that one. He's hiding in the tree. Okay, so that's two down. Sure wasn't a ninja. It was, I mean, it could have been a ninja dog. I gotta find that third dog. Wonder where the third dog is. I like Fallout just fine. I mean, to, I've been meaning. Oh, damn it! I've been meaning to play Fallout 2, but uh, jeez, it's a lot of damage, huh? Yeah, these guys just respawn. The problem is narrating a lot is frustrating, and telling you guys to like, hey, just read it. It's also kind of bullshit. It's like you, you guys could just read it on your own. You don't even need to read what the characters say to you. So yeah, that's a lot of reading. The messages say here and try attacking. There's no way there's just an invisible turtle here, though. That'd be bullshit.
Yeah, those dogs are crazy, sentient fart cloud. Where's the final dog? Hey, they're all piled up over here. Where is the final one? Yeah, see, I don't believe that I got to jump down there. That's bullshit. <laughs> Look carefully, then beast ahead. Oh my God, there he is. Time to get another dog shell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Am I stuck here? Oh my God. It's clearly a dog. Old neighbor. I don't like being made fun of like that. You shouldn't make fun of me like that. You shouldn't try to fool people. You know, lying's a sin, Molten Amber. And you're going to go to hell before you die. I'm going to pray for that. Dear Jesus, please dig a grave for Molten Amber's dick. Amen. Dear Jesus, are you listening? It's me again, Hellbent. <laughs> Anyways, can you dig a grave for Molten Amber's dick? Thank you. Amen. That's how I pray. I like to giggle like, you know, God, God answers better when you have a good sense of humor about you. Someone got busy painting trees and such. B-17 bomber. Treasure. Memory stone! Cool. And I need to, like, add more spells on, don't I? That was worth it. I was hoping for another turtle thing, but hey, you know, I'll take memory stone. Fuck. That's fine. Now let's go, let's go add those spells, you know, I'm talking about spells and magic. not too far away from up i would like to get more endurance i'm putting like little tiny points in endurance because i want to wear armor with my stuff maybe my shell maybe this turtle shell is really heavy and i'm being stupid wouldn't be the first time so glint blade pebble great swift crystal burst I don't need Starlight. I got a shield. I mean, may need it later. I tried Tetra Magisus or whatever, and it just didn't really increase my spell power noticeably, so I just kind of ditched it. I ain't got no faith, so the rest of that's going to be kind of pointless. So, uh. Sure, Glintstone and, uh, sh the shield thing, just in case I really want to block something for some reason. Which probably is never going to happen, but hey. Hey, look, that skull's got a rune in it smash you know what how many runes do i got can i just ruin myself that level up before i screw up level up before you screw up i'm gonna be going around that lake there i don't know i, I kind of got a good lay of the land now except for this big cloud over here and this area next to it but uh like i haven't been over here this should be some place i should visit right let's mark that what do I got? Pretty sure I got a lot of runes. How much does give? 400, let's use them all.
Ooh, I need like another 4,000. Okay, fair enough. thousand five okay all right inventory Let's see Get two four eight and i think i need more than this i didn't pay strict attention to that that nah, should be enough golder go to albert Albert village secret medallion piece and a boss. I, okay, I'll try to find that. Secret areas are fun. I like secret areas. Okay, it's, there it is. Hey, I hate to look it up, but it's, it is a secret, right? I think looking up a secret's fair. So allegedly I gotta be like somewhere near, yeah. All right, we'll go for that. Can I wear pants now? I'm allowed to? Nope, still medium load. Hope I swapped to prisoner clothes. Nope, even with all my lightest stuff, I still can't have full clothing. Ah, 5.5. That's not even hit. It's lighter than my shield, even. So. thing is this weighs 1.5 right so I, I don't think it really like helps with my equip load yeah see a lot of these other talisman actually have a lesser equip load if i equip them so i think this one's a bit of a a bit of a joke Not right. Okay, no, that's that's an upgrade. I just had to double check on that. All right, it was the HP regeneration thing that was holding me back, really. Maybe a full set of clothes will do me better. All right, here we go. I just never took the time to do the math on that. Hey, Spirit Taker. Bastard Sword Guy Dexter, I hear you. Diablo 2 and Diablo 1 is where I learned to love those things. Yeah, Ren, I wish it was a little bit more specific on what a light load versus a heavy load is, but, you know, at least it tells you here. Other games are a lot more cryptic. 
I like how they added lobsters. They already had giant crabs from Dark Souls, and it's like someone model a giant lobster. Good for them. Is that a message? Damn. Wait, where's the where's this? Where, 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 where? Okay, I'm going to number two. The art in this game's beautiful though. It really is, damn. Even in areas like this. Is that a church or a ruin I see? I'll have to check that out. I guess medium load's still fine, but I like having tons of rolls. More rolls than a than a curves in a weight loss clinic, than a gastric bypass surgeon sees in a week. More rolls than Thanksgiving dinner at an obese family's house. I like the giant crustaceans. Me too. They spit foam at you. They're so rude. They're like, Pfft. like fucker. That hurts. I don't know how the foam hurts, but then again, I've been I've been sprayed with a high power hose. I can see how that could hurt. I'll rip you right open. There's Grace here. I don't know if there's any anything else though. I think it's just a sunken church. I don't think I'm busting into anything over here. Oh, well, I'll take the grace. There's a mushroom. I got a mushroom. How about this? Academy Gate Town. I think I've been here before. Yeah, I have. Maybe not the specific side of it, though. Oh, boy. Cave Moss. Ain't got enough of that. Love you double jumping horse hey stone sword key that's useful actually i think i have more of these than i need but i don't know if the game has more than you need in it might just give you only enough hard to say love being ripped open by o's <laughs> damn ness uh <laughs> all right uh hey spankyo good to see you again buddy how you been it's spackyo and Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Hope you're having a good day. Friday be upon us. The day of relaxation. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I could have just walked. Whatever. Can I open this door? Hello, almost missed that though. I need golden seeds. <laughs> Ruining their day. I bet there's a treasure chest up there, but I wouldn't know the first thing about getting that one. I guess while we're running around, I do like how you got to get the uh, talismans to increase how many spells you got instead of the stat. I didn't like the attunement thing in Dark Souls 2. I liked a lot about Dark Souls 2 that people hated, but some of the stats were obtuse and weird. I've been doing good, Spank. You hope you've been doing good too. I'm enjoying a lot of Elden Ring, obviously. It was also fun doing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream with Dot. Dot's real interested in doing Heavy Rain next, and I can't disagree with him. That, that game is a that game is a hoot and a holler. Also, it doesn't take forever, so you know that's good. Not that I Have No Mouth took forever. I can be a little slow though. Oh, they I found an iced coffee that they sell, and I like it. You know, it's pretty. Oh, he's having lobsters. Forget my iced coffee bullshit. Look, he's having he's having himself a seafood what dinner. What's up? You trying to start something, mate? 
What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start something. Piss off. Before I crack you in half. I love you, lobster man. I'm gonna talk to him again though. What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start something. Piss off. Before I crack you in half. I just want some of your lobster dinner, man. That looks good too. Damn, I'm <laughs> I'm hungry. Nobody delivers lobster. I don't think I would take delivery lobster really. And if I did, it'd probably be far too expensive, but hmm. This guy's about to have a damn feast. I get why he's telling me to piss off. I wonder how I can become his friend. Maybe if I find a lobster hat. But then you just crack me open and eat the white goo in my brain and go, ooh, that's good lobster meat. So, eh, well, let's leave him be. I like that guy, though. That's a cool NPC. I hope that's all he does is tell you to piss off. I hope he has no significance other than it's like, damn, this is good lobster eating out of here. Yeah, me seeks dot smarter at puzzles than I am. It really does help a lot. <laughs> hey, it's another one of these things. Booga Booga Tribe getting their ass kicked. You gotta level them up. Get they they get tons of health. Like you've seen mine, they tank AOEs like nothing. Oh, oh, where you going? Where you going, zombie? You gonna leave me to some treasure? Hey, Romero, I love Silent Hill. Uh, it, it has some problems, admittedly, right? It's kind of like Resident Evil, to where like it's not a flawless game. But it's hard not to appreciate it. I don't think sneaking works on this guy. Oh, it does. I'm good. Probably could have equipped that amulet, but I think that that sneaking amulet thing just helps in PvP. You craving soft shell crab? I haven't had lobster in forever. Uh, it's not entirely my thing, but when you see lobster well made, it's like, damn, I, I kind of want one. <laughs> Looks nice. I'd boil my own lobster, but I'm afraid that I would like uh, overcook it, honestly, because I'm paranoid about stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, cook all the dead out of it. I don't want parasites in my stomach. Nobody wants stomach parasites. That stuff, it sounds like the worst. Of course, you're tempting fate when you're like, oh, I don't want to get worms and you'll get worms and get it off of a McDonald's breakfast sandwich or something. Sharpie loves crab ragoons or whatever. But like, I don't know what those are, but they sound pretty good. I like some seafood too, Vamp. My personal favorite is fried Icelandic cod. Or grilled or smoked catfish. Catfish can be very good too. Man, I got an army of you guys. I ain't afraid of you. Spack you with the first tip of the night. Five bucks says, here's Chris money from a lobster. Lobster fun. Damn, I'll have to buy a lobster now. Thank you for buying a lobster dinner. I'm going to get a lobster dinner. I almost want to eat one because it's cartoon like, too. Let me get my big car. Oh, hey. Hey, big guy. How about you make like a tree and go fuck yourself, huh? I hope that trap was intentional with this dude. I like this one. He's like, yeah, I'm going to lead you through some dangerous shit. Good zombie. I love you, zombie. Praise the old codger. He helps. Appeal. Appeal. Dead end. Dead. Shut up. What about deep fried catfish? Eh, it's all right. I prefer smoked or grilled catfish though. We're talking catfish. Grilled cod can be okay, but grilled catfish is better in my opinion. They may just be the restaurants that I go to though, you know, everybody's got a different way to cook what they make. Ah, I swung you son of a bitch. My eyes, ah, my eyes, ah, ah. 
This place is full of Ooga Booga friends. Rose with five Canadian dollars says, and the lobster fun. Also, the village is in that big hole. Hug the left wall. Oh, damn. So I, I inadvertently found it naturally. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Seek confidence. Okay. Cha. Sh -sh -sh -sh. Heavy bees bone, that's it? Nah. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, I had it on the entire time. I was like, it sure is dark in here. Then it got darker, and I skipped it. There we go. I'm too eager. I want to see what this cave's about. This sword's really good. <laughs> Not this big hole in another place. Yeah, I, I looked it up on a map because you were giving me really heavy suggestions. I want to check it out if it's secret. So I looked it up because I'm I'm like that. I'll do that if it's if it's really obtuse. I don't mind looking it up. Oh no! Oh no! I should lock on in dark areas more often. So what treasure are they guarding? Spear talisman. All right, what's that do? Enhances counterattacks. Well, that's neat. I like this waterfall. I don't know what it is about it, but I like it. Maybe it's because it doesn't really make any sense and this whole place should be horribly flooded, but it's it's nice. I was having a dedicated jump button. It kicks ass. I like the dedicated jump button. Ah. I didn't think we needed to drop down there, but that message is nice. Thankfully, I played Dark Souls 2, so I'm used to this shit. <laughs> and I guess Dark Souls 1 with Blight Town. Blight Town was full of this kind of stuff. We found the Crystal Caverns, boys. Slug ahead level. He's not lovable at all. You gotta hurt me. Oh, from downtown first time I got an elbow drop from a slug no way no way yeah that's what I thought bogus on the plus side there's no weapon durability anymore so you can just swing at secret walls all you want without having to go like ooh that's gonna cost me bizarre for you to have a jump button I don't know I've uh I played enough Sekiro where I'm like, yeah, I recognize this. This is just Sekiro movement with the stealth and the jumping. I like that there's actual stealth in the game now, considering the game has backstabs. Although the old game had stealth. It was like more even more rudimentary than Metal Gear. You know what I mean? Hack, huh? Okay. That's a good message. No, not this one. That guy's just trying to get extra points, but I'll give it to him.
All right, I'll take the hint. Put some pillows on my shoes. Drop on down. Smithing stones are good. I like the magical snails. Uh, their design's pretty good, actually. It's a good enemy design. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Just let me drink, buddy. Let me drink. That reach is obscene. Get him, boys. Goodness. Beat him to shit. <laughs> Do it. Kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no. this not like this die cerulean amber medallion got my butt kicked there uh let's see ooh increases focus points let's put that on oh yeah that's a lot of focus Trying to figure out which way is progress. Okay, this way. Praise the samurai. Hell yeah, praise the samurai. I'll drink to that. They gave you anxiety? <laughs> yeah. I really need to be able to equip armor, but at least that item my god's nice so it means more sword slashes so where where the hell am i anyways oh hey look i'm over here wow i'm kind of off target but you know we'll, we'll go to the secret place what's with this you got a sleeping wolf what's up foul tarnished what do you want i told the old healing brute that i possess no such medallion or have you come to take more from me was my other half not enough? I told the all hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Other half? Other half medallion or like, you know, husband or whatever? I don't know. You know what? I don't care. She ain't got nothing for me. Thank you. I got several voice acting projects going on. Uh, I'm gonna it's it's an audition to sing, right? But I was selected to audition, so Dude's pretty confident in my voice, although I'm not a singer by trade. I like to learn though. I think anybody can learn acting or singing if you know given the right environment and opportunity. So I'm willing to go completely ham on a song. It'll be fun. I don't care how goofy it is, it'll be interesting. I've never done that before, right? I did a rap once, that was fun, but doing a doing an actual like you know song well i mean rap's still actual songs but you know what i mean i'm not trying to be shitty or rather uh you know the difference between like a rap song and like a song song i don't know how to put it you can still like rap and sing with tone and you know harmony though so uh, well you know what i mean though 
You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. This is as long as they're clear. Ain't got no issue with rap. No problems at all. I guess we'll just teleport here and walk away and go back to the village. Oh, Rose, thank you. I do need that. So that is progress. Let's make some progress. Yeah, I can handle certain genres, and if I, like, you know, do my acting correctly, and I speak and sing right, then it'll, it'll sink. It'll be all right. And maybe, who knows, I may just have latent talent that I haven't unlocked because I hadn't, you know, tried. But it's hard to try when you don't have a... Fire Monk's Prayer Book, that's cool. Anyway, it's hard to try when you don't got a, uh... A significant amount of motivation i'm no musician right so it's not like i got a bunch of beats laying around or a bunch of i'm not a lyricist either so i don't have a bunch of lyrics laying around either so working with somebody else is ideal for learning especially something like that singing also got some dead by daylight stuff with sam t coming up so we got some more acting as frank and all that Well, that certainly wasn't the village I just demolished. That was something else. I'm not good food. I'll annihilate you, bats. They just hate things. That's that's their problem. Just full of hatred. So, I gotta go to get to this village, probably across that toxic lake. Okay, I'm on the right track. I'm just double checking, make sure I'm on the right track. I don't want to like, you know, go all this way and waste my- Hey, crab! I'm out of here. See ya. Making me hungry for seafood. He's bathing in Butter Lake. They're tempting me. It's like, hey, hey, if you quit, you can have some crab. Hey, crab. Ooh, what's that? Leave me alone, crab. Oh, shoot. I forgot if the horse. If the horse gets hurt, I fall into the crap. Let's get out of here. There we go, the village of the Albernarax. 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 Yay, a village! Sorry, I, I was a little distracted. Rose does 3D modeling stuff and works with other projects. Neat. 3D modeling is interesting. I've learned a little bit of it, but yeah, you know, you really want to be a voice actor? Well, Vamp, anybody can be a voice actor, that's for sure. The easiest thing 
and being a voice actor is to just let go of any sense of ego or like you know ooh, this is cool and just like and just drop your ego drop yourself you know what i mean if you can just ignore yourself for a little bit and just do the thing without like without feeling like you got to do it you know what i mean like oh i have to do it Ooh. if you can just do it and you don't even have to enjoy it vamp you can like you can be in fact that's probably more important that you're able to act as a character that you don't care for because if you can do that then you can just turn it on whenever and it makes it a lot easier to just act the trick is finding something that you fit in a role for so that's why i'm excited about the music deal right because with the music deal yeah i need more golden seeds with the music deal well a lot of the work's already done for me <laughs> i don't have to worry about it so much so working with other people is very important to learning acting Acting really isn't a solo bit anyways, unless you're like a comedian or something, maybe doing some stand-up or whatnot, but uh Acting can be hard if you're trying to fulfill a role that you're not really fit for But that's okay doing a role that you're not fit for is like peak acting Village is done for hide not, well i do hide a lot i was about to say not my style but actually oh these guys are harmless and form marvel tier oh cool so i can do two respects that's nice it's finally good to have some respect material r-e-s-p-e-c -E i want to respect respect yeah baby respect respect yeah see that I can't sing that song. I mean, I could. But you gotta, like, let loose your ego and be like, R-E-S-P-C-T. <laughs> really go in. I don't feel like blowing out my voice right now, though. We're gonna be streaming. I'm gonna be talking. But see right there, that that's what holds you back, right? If you are if you had that moment to really, like, mm, that song's kind of kind of cheesy. I don't want to sing it. That's where people fail in acting. They they get self-conscious. You gotta, you gotta ditch that self-conscious thought. And that can be tough. I would say that's the hardest part of acting next to like doing a funny voice that hurts. Oh no! Crystal sword. Ooh. Ow. Stop. Ew! Blew his load all over the grass. Nasty. You guys are gross. You're banned from quack crack wizards high school or whatever i don't know maybe in a high school maybe like college because you know they went to the college anyhow english actors yeah well you know english dub acting is pretty good people doing death threats towards actors oh boy i know about that they did i get plenty of those for doing the planet dole and stuff i get i've attracted quite a number of crazies by doing absolutely nothing but just you know trying to act and have fun you get used to it but that doesn't mean anybody's got to tolerate it right it's like oh it's just part of the job it's like yeah yeah but no not really <laughs> not not entirely you know, let's check out that sword real quick equipment crystal sword how do you work not bad and a spinning slash I mean that's okay maybe if it's not too special and i can upgrade it my own way that might be okay for a magic scaling sword but it's really got nothing on the uh old katana old virgin protector virginity pro i keep saying virgin protector virginity protector that's the idea damn that damage is really uh even on like an unupgraded one the damage is pretty good that magic uh, that magic scaling is uh decadent okay 
Okay, I should probably get off the horse if I'm gonna fight these guys, because that really hurt. Then again, horse can jump on top of Ruse. Ivory Sickle. I guess that's cool. I don't think I need that or want it, though. I mean, it's nice to have in case I want to try something, though. Be wary of right. Ah! Hey! Why? That's a nasty trick you played on me, Mr. Game Developer. Mr. Miyazaki, why would you do that? Why would you harm a treasure hunter? The Primed Perfumer Robe. Alright, whatever that means. My horse! The pots in this game are the equivalent to the, uh... Mushrooms and Dark Souls one? Yeah, kinda. I like the crafting, I just didn't find a lot of them books. And kinda need them. Okay, this guy's gonna be a pain, so let's, uh, Uga up. Oh no, sorry Uga Booga Trap, I didn't mean to spawn you in front of fire. Oh my god, it's just Carpet Demon again. Well, add another death on there. One thing this game isn't afraid to do is to give the enemies frequent and repeated attacks that just smash your face in, which, you know what, I'm growing used to it now that I'm leveling up. I am stupid ass, so which part of this did George R. Mar right, he wrote all the messages, like the, you know, if only I had a monster butthole. I'm pretty sure he wrote that one. I'm, I'm pretty sure anyways, like, you're allowed to write messages, but I'm real sure, like, all these are dev messages written by hand by George R. R. Martin. Like, try back. He did that. He just sits here all day and does this. I'm going the wrong way. Am I? I forget. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. No way. No, I'm not. <laughs> Damn it. Don't worry, we can beat that guy's ass. I just gotta not get hit. That's the main thing. The crappa demon. Carpet demon was hard, man. Those dogs would hit stun you. Ah! Made things harder than necessary. That boss can give you a really hard time, even if you're uh, experienced at the game, he can surprise you. Get him, boys. two dogs even it is just the carpet demon oh fuck thankfully my sword does insane damage the crucible not talisman what what the hell does that do Oh, that does raise my carry load a whole lot, though, but it increases damage taken, so what's the point of wearing all the armor if this is gonna make me take more damage? Reduces damage and impact the headshots? That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't see that being very useful. It's cool. Maybe if I had a giant head. Man, he is doing work. Who's gonna burn all the corpses now? I don't have any fire spells. Demi humans could take over. But they 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 travel with me, you know, so
Ooh, pretty. Luring out in ranged battle? Eh, depends on what it is. Go to the far wall to the right. Go across the bridge, far wall right. Not a secret hole, although it looks like it would be. Whoever put that there is a little stinker. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of lost. Uh, where's my light? There we go. That's better. Oh, look at that. Is that a bridge, maybe? Go back across the bridge and then go up the wall to the far right. Okay, I'll go back across the bridge and far right on the wall. I can do that. Why do these guys bleed jizz? What the fuck? That don't happen naturally. Go up the wall, huh? Hey. Bitch. I ain't falling for that. I know that fire hurts real bad. from that you jerk almost called him something really bad but you know a default oh i see up the hills a pot roll into it okay what's up pot please no dear me <laughs> i haven't a clue no secrets lie with me not a one. Oh, please leave me be i would never have figured that one out rose thank you Wait then, you're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. Yay! Wily Cody? I mean, these this guy looks like a blow-up doll, so maybe. Uh, Spanky asked earlier, do I watch any YouTube content? Yeah! Hello. I just watch weird stuff. Like, indie music youtube poop videos uh sometimes i'll watch a podcast if it's about something really funny it's got to be pretty funny need the young albinoric latena then please give it to her a chosen land awaits us albinorics the medallion is the key that leads to the city it's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey but for dear latena it is needed to fulfill her purpose my legs will soon fade and with them my life alas this is the immovable fate of all albinorix <laughs> albinorix that's how you say it <laughs> oh yeah it's bad you they still make them the king of the hill ones are my favorite like the king of the hell ones are fun then you see the weird the sonic the head one the sonic the hedgehog ones from i teach vader it's very musical very very uh impressively musical left side is in the late game now okay the village let's go talk to what's her name oh yeah i'm over there now huh funny
I mean, obviously I want this, so I don't think I give it to her. Let's talk to her anyways. I told the all hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to was my other half? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I've no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. Okay. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. I already got it, but all right. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree in Castle Sol on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. I think I got both of them. And I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. Oh, Lobo it's dead. Tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Goodbye. Hey, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Boggle. <laughs> yes, thank you. You got it. Boggle. I love all those old ones, but the new ones are good too. The Aqua Teen Hunger Force King of the Hill one is insanely good. Like, it's as good as an episode, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Carl is Broly in that one, and he powers up, and it's um, it's magical. That's all I can say. Hey, Ghost, I solved the curse of the Albanax. All right, whatever. So, what do I do here? And how do I get down? Left side, huh? I don't think I need to play around over here anymore, honestly, but... There's a road, and then there's that. There's that. I really can't tell how do I get there maybe I gotta go down but how do I get down I don't know there's an item down there I want it but I'll die if I fall down so there's a rock over there I might be able to jump on though I don't know <laughs> no 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 <laughs> awful fawful is a great YouTube poop creator all the time man's making amazing drawings and animation I'll have to check him out let me awful falafel awful falafel yeah, poor dog. Thanks for the tip, by the way, Rose. I wouldn't have found that. Sir Gideon often here has dialogue in this. He's at the hold. Well, let's go to the hold. We're, we're kind of overdue for a, a look, right? So. Well, he's not at the table last grace, is he? Well, let's check out the table anyways. I, I got some materials. Map only maps out the top of the plateau. I see. Yeah, that's what I thought. This looked a little suspicious. Sorry, fucker. Good night, me seeks. Yeah. Been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold after all. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. I know where gold mask is. Any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. Well, at least he gives you warning before leaving. I was afraid he's gonna do that. Let's give him a prayer book. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the earth tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, 
Yeah, we may as well buy them while we still can, huh? We got just enough for them both, too. I might respect into faith. I don't know. May the golden order shine through. It does. You got anything to say? Hello there. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Ooh. Ah, he tried to kill me. He wanted he wanted to usurp me. Instead, I smacked his ass down. What do you got to say, dude? Journey to the capital, then. The two eh. fingers will you may be on yep. Okay. He stood no chance. But now we got a sick ass armor and this door's open and there's a bad guy in there. What do you got for sale now? And it's something. I guess it's just bones. I can buy bones now. Make my own arrows. Well, that's something. You don't have the right. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. <laughs> I don't care. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all, the reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a strange as a defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. Okay, I'll just leave him then. <laughs> he warned me, he's like, hey, leave me alone. And you know what? I'm just gonna listen to him. Cause why wouldn't I? Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? Yeah, no new skills. That's fine. Well, where have you been hiding? Benjamin, I got a, a light nap in. It's enough. What can I say? I really want to play this game. Need a stone plus seven for that. A sombering for that would be a waste on the crystal sword. A lot of these need sombering stone. That's sad. Uh, let's see. I could get ups on the ore blade, right? But here's the deal. I don't know what else I might want to upgrade. I could find some. I might want to do the godskin peeler. Who knows? Oh, this one just takes smithing stones. That's interesting. And try out some of these weapons before I know for sure. Rusted anchor just takes smithing stones. So that's an advantage. You can get this one past level 10, I think. For the rest of these with the uh, somber ones, you really can't go past 10 too easily. If I could smithing stone the uh, great star too. Costs more to do rusted anchor though. So I assume rusted anchor scales better in the long run. Yeah, it does make sense. So ultimately higher damage on that. Not sure what the watchdog stat does, sorcery of the crozier. And, uh, let's see. That's it. All right, no upgrades from there, then. 299 death space, cowboy. Yep. Greetings. Don't worry, Benjamin. I'll be getting a lot of sleep tonight. We're two hours, 40 minutes in, but, uh, I'm going to take care of myself and not be stupid about it.
It's plus three ashes. We could upgrade our soldiers a bit. I feel like these can only be summoned in some places. You know what? I need to look up how the special ashes works. As much as I hate to look up everything, I don't understand. I want to level up something I can't use. Even Fextra Life doesn't know. Okay. I figure the special ashes you could probably only summon in special areas. It seems to make sense. Spank you asked what's my favorite from soft title? Oh, Armored Core 3, I suppose. I really do like Armored Core. Although this is this is a strong second place, maybe first place. Marionette soldiers are treating me well. Their range is nice. They're just stronger otherwise there's no difference I, I wasn't allowed to summon them sometimes maybe i just didn't have enough magic hold on oh i did i just didn't have enough fp to summon oleg i see okay okay Seventy-four. I got ninety-six FP. Greetings, are you here for spirit? Ah, Space Cowboy, I acknowledge folks. I apologize if I'm a little off on chat, however, I do my best. Oh, what do you think? Hey Mobinator, good to see you. What's good? I'm doing pretty good. I'm having some fun with this game i love me some demon souls dark souls bloodborne all that kingsfield to a lesser degree kingsfield's okay but there's a reason why we don't go back to that very slow game well and let until i level up my mind i can't even use these things And I want to waste good Ghost Glove Ward on those. So, all right. Well, I have to level up my mind too. Death 300 on the horizon. Surely it is. But I haven't. Ma I managed to not die so far. So we're hanging in there. What's the witch got going on? Mm, I've returned. Uh, nothing really for me to purchase necessarily. I could buy a silly hat if I pop some runes. But eh, we're fine. All right. Well. 
that uh that answers my questions makes sense now i was like why can't i summon that i just didn't have enough fp to do it okay anything else outside of talking to the dung eater no so i'm gonna take a quick restroom break i'm gonna be right back uh don't don't fret i'll survive but i'll be back momentarily Hey, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. All right, Rose, I got a Discord, but I kept the link down for a little bit because I felt like Nightbot might be messing with the channel. Like, it. maybe I shouldn't have done those alerts, right? So, uh, you know what? Give me today. Uh, tomorrow, I'll, uh, I'll set the Discord bot back up and they'll be dropping links. I'll have to get another link ready and all that. But I'll have it tomorrow with some Dead by Daylight. So if you stop by future streams, I'll have the link. Sorry, I'd, I'd go set it up right now, but it's kind of a bitch. And time's precious because I've been up forever. <laughs> well, I got a nap, but you know. I've been up a little bit. So I want to check this out. Then I gotta check out the great elevator. I mean, I already got up here though, so what's the point of the great lift? I don't know, but we'll have to check out Erd Tree over there. I haven't looked at, I think, so let's mark that. Something tells me I might have to like swerve up there. Hell oh, yeah, put together that music, Wiley. Wiley's a talented dude. You should check out his stuff. You know, we could probably just run up here. All right, that'll work. Obviously, I go east. You know, I keep looking at the map like, where do I go? I mean, it's east. It's just east. We just go east. Favorite genre of music? Ah. 
I find it hard to just stick to one genre, but what I find myself continuing to listening to is like indie electronic stuff. And I know it ain't everybody's favorite, but that's what happens when you share your musical taste. I don't care. I like it. I'll listen to what I fucking please. I like heavy metal music, but saying heavy metal music is like a personal flex is kind of sad. Like, we're only listening to tough guy music. It's exactly what a wiener says. I like me some electronic music. Not that I'd go to like raves or anything. I, I I blame it on all old Nintendo games I played. And back in the old days, a lot most of the music I was exposed to was like the Mega Man soundtrack. You know what I mean? And that sounded pretty good off old Nintendo for what it was worth. So I guess I learned to appreciate uh, you know, electronic selections like that. It's pretty fun. I listen to just about anything really. Is there a cave over here? Probably not. Ah. This area has been ill explored. We need to check it out. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's awful. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, no. Well, I needed that smithing stone, so that's the only level two smithing stone I have. That's kind of necessary to have right now. I need to go the opposite way. I mean, I've been down there, and I should probably go down there some more. Sure, but well, they don't put ghosts here for nothing gonna warn me about the bears no he's just sad he can't get in the magic castle I already conquered that I'm gonna show you where the magic castle is baby shark death metal version sure weird stuff like that's fun sentient fart cloud Wiley Cody likes electro pop yeah, it's just a good genre. I think one of the lamest things you can do, though, is mock somebody for their choice of genre that they like. I hate that. So it's nice to see that folks are like, oh, that's interesting, instead of like, ew, I only listen to country music, or I only listen to rap music and nothing else. I'm like, okay, well, you're, you're special. I only listen to black metal music. Oh, your musical choice says a lot about you personally, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't. It's It means nothing. It means that you enjoy a thing. Then again, nobody popped off, but I've had experience with musicians. It's like, what are you listening to? It's like, I'm listening to the Mega Man soundtrack. And they're like, what are, you, are you serious? It's like, yeah. Are you serious with your guitar up there? You kind of died tonight, bro. <laughs> that, no, I wouldn't say that. Somebody who's who's going to say that kind of stuff is already horribly insecure. So the second you go, hey, you know, maybe you're not so great either. They they lose their mind. Better to just let them <laughs> let them continue on like that. Hey, burn some bridges more. Why don't you? Ooh, special. Point me to him. Oh, he's on land.
This boss is silly. <laughs> Please, thank you. I don't think you're supposed to go on land, but maybe I'm wrong. Death root, which is a key item. Skeletal banded ashes. All right. I don't know what death root is used for, really, but hopefully it's useful. Space Cowboy says gatekeeping music is so absurd. What if I want to listen to my dinosaur metal? Yeah, exactly. And I'm sure there is dinosaur metal. Paleo Paleolithic rock. It's literally in the name. Caveman metal sounds cool. I guess I understand why people are like that, though, because people like to get validation. But uh, eh. it's like someone say, you, you play... You play Link to the Past? I only play man games like Dark Souls. That person is a guaranteed wuss. 100%. <laughs> Besides, it's a lot braver to say you like something people talk shit about anyways. If somebody's like... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I draw the line at like nursery rhymes to where, you know, but even then I'm not going to give that guy a hard time waiting for the three, three, sweet 300. We'll get there bit bot, but I've been doing a pretty good job of surviving. So thankfully it's not an issue, but I suppose if I heard somebody say, I only listen to nursery rhymes at <laughs> half speed, I'd be like, okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> I wouldn't rag on him, but I'd be, I'd be like, okay, I'm keep an eye on you a little bit just in case. I'm going the wrong way, but there's an Erd tree this way and we can teleport back. So this is fine. What's over here? I only listen to Beatles albums backwards with, <laughs> with a huge pitch shift on it. I mean, then again, there's Nightcore. People like Nightcore. I don't have an issue with it, even though it literally is just speeding the thing up or raising the pitch a little bit, depending. If that's what makes someone happy to listen to is pretty harmless. I can't think of any harmful music, really. The myth of harmful music has always been lame, too. It's like, oh, only buttholes listen to that. It's like, all right. So someone hurt your feelings, huh? Sport. You take it out on a whole music genre. Real mature. Fire cleanse me. Cool. I think I know what that spell is. You got any more treasures over here? It's like dogging on somebody for liking anime or cartoons like you you watch cartoons why do you five it's like well yeah i made a lot of money on them too. <laughs> hey you don't hear that opinion too much anymore i don't know you kind of see it reverse some folks like disney stuff and people treat it you like you're the absolute devil for liking disney which i mean to be fair disney isn't a super great company but you know if somebody likes something unless it's like hardcore like snuff films and even then I just leave that person alone. I'm like, okay, enjoy your snuff films. I don't want anything to do with that, but have a good day. Shrug likes snuff films. He likes watching people die. That's Shuruka, you know. He's a scamp. He's a little, he's a little dickens. You go from jazz to suicide boys, space cowboy. Ooh, jazz is a good genre. It can be hit or miss, but I don't mind it. A lot of the electronic stuff I listen to is jazz inspired, you know? I don't like getting in the conversation of what is jazz or what is metal either. Ooh, that, those are awful. Like, it's not real metal. It's like, okay, shut up. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't care that much. Nobody, even the people who made the music probably don't care that much. Even the person who, who ever invented metal probably doesn't care that much. It's not real. This isn't real jazz. All right. <laughs> Good for you. You got you got an exceptional taste, friend. This is a trap. Church of Oh my god, a giant dog. Can I talk with you? You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel. 
steward of this sacred chamber. I love this dog. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Trap music? I've heard people complain about trap music. I'm like, eh, like, does it really bother you that bad? You just gotta like change the channel, dude. You ain't gotta be so uptight. He doesn't find my shield funny. No, nah, we're both we're both dogs. It's cool. Z Martin says he's gone from listening to Bach straight to GG Allen. Sure, you know, classical music fits right in with new music. It's really not that all, all that different. Unless you're crazy, anyways. I'll talk with you. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Cool! Hey, there's Magic Glint Blade. And there's a spell I don't have. Neat. Grants a blessing. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Teach Lord me, great dog. A great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Man, you got a point, Jet Set Radio's all over the place with the genres. Oh, oh is it Hidaki who made that? I like the soundtrack in Sonic Rush. It's cheesy, but it's fun. You know, it said that Lord Afamed when he glimpsed okay. such, it said that the statue harbors a secret. I want to get this sorcery. But he's, he still needs money. So we can get him a nice uh, rascal so he can move around. All right, fair enough. Uh... Oops, that's not nearly enough. I'll just use them all. That'll cover it. Okay, I went a little high, but no, no it's just enough. Else? I could have saved two of them, though. 
And you gotta go all the way here to get magic glint blade damn they start you off with that good all right so treasure chest statues and that dog is the pope wiley dog is the pope gold sewing needle golden tailoring tools okay seeing grump and then time for pickle applauded let's see Ooh, equipment what's that gold needle for i wonder Oh, I got two containers with those sparks. Okay, so that's what the perfume bottles do. Interesting. Where is this funny thing? Oh, I only got the Dedicus medallion and the Tree secret medallion. I don't have both, I don't think. Unless they go together. Ah, yeah, let's go to different lifts. I see. Ah, here it is. I have no idea what that's used for. I can alter a tire at a side of grace. So that lets me change how it look. Neat. I assume that's what it's for now. Okay, well, I, that's something. Dog. It is a dog. Classic dog. So we got some lore. We bought a sorcery here. That's nice. Told us some stories about stuff. I don't think there's anything else waiting for me here, though. Take a quick peek. Is a gold needle on a quest? Maybe, Noku. It looks like you use it to change your appearance, which would be cool. I'd like to wear armor then be like, no, but I look like this, though. More games need that. Because Fashion Souls is a thing. Dressing up your character to look cool is a thing, but when your armor kind of like don't do good, or like if an armor set's naturally not great, but it looks cool, that, that's kind of a bummer. It's nice to be able to like have good stance and look how you want. No, video game music makes you upset because it's not a genre. Yeah, I suppose. I call it a subgenre. But yeah, what is video game music, right? It meant a little bit more. It means less and less as time goes forward. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Like, do you like retro game music? Do you like modern day game music? Which game are you talking about? Is it is it the weird knockoff tunes that Doom has or Vision's a sorcerer, but we're, we're wary jumper. Oh my god, there's a big statue. I bet that's where a secret is. Whoa. <laughs> Whatever that was. I... Miss me with that. Oh, well, I'm glad we came here. We got a spell. We can use it later. Oh, it allows you to alter the god armors. Interesting. I ran into any god armors yet. I got that. Oops. Don't die, please. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, uh, I got the... 
don't know what I was saying. I was too worried that I killed myself on accident. I didn't quite see the uh, bottom of that drop till it occurred. All right, my brain's melting. We're getting towards brain melt phase of uh, lack of sleep due to Elden Ring just being all encompassing and fun. Hey, it's Living Vikings. Oh, yeah, there's that whole underwater area. I like, like hadn't touched. I just ran through it. Who's casting spells? Oh, it's those archer dudes. Yeah, they, their archers are really strong. Not nearly as scary as they used to be, I bet. Good night, stupid. 8 bit Mario dubstep? Sure, why not? I mean, it works. Causes an explosion? That might be cool. Significantly negates damage. That's probably really nice. Hands dodge rolls, boost faith. I'm gonna take the significant damage decrease. Mixed, mixed physics really good. I wonder if you can get another flask though. That'd be my big question. Cause having two of those would be OP. But it just has a one next to it. So it makes me wonder it's like, can, but can I have two? I go to bed soon. We'll see. We'll see. I will have to eat dinner eventually, though. But I don't think I'm going to stay up all night for this one. We got Dead by Daylight tomorrow, and I don't want to stream nothing but Elden Ring for, till the end of the month. That would be a... It wouldn't be a waste of my time. Let's just take down this turtle thing. He's making a lot of ruckus. It wouldn't be a waste of my time. I love this game. But... Ah. Whoa! I do have work in the morning. Also got acting to do and lots of other stuff. Whee! I like this one. Bad dog. Bye, Rose. Thanks again. I appreciate the help. Oh, yeah, it's just a remembrance duplicator. We've already done one of these, but it was fun to mess around with it. No extra items or anything, though, huh? Fair enough, I suppose. No treasure chest. Nah, all right. It's not what I expected. Let's take out that Erd tree thing. Bother me that that's still up. What's the path? Probably can't get up from that side. There's a road that leads to a dead end. There's a mine over here. I can go and tag that. We might explore that in a minute. Yeah, I think I need to go west then east, actually. Let's see if we can find a way up there. Oh, there's another turtle thing up there. Oh, I mean, I don't need it, though. Yeah, this will get us up. Yeah, there's some big dogs. I'm sorry. Did I call that a turtle? I'm, a t I'm tired. I'm clearly seeing things wrong. Haven't found the Iris Sauron yet? Not yet, but we'll get there. Making lots of progress over the last two days. <laughs> Mainly because I spent like 11 hours playing the game because sleep sucks. Elden Ring's great. 
this game is so good uh i knocked that one down but we already know what's in there but it's you know could be used for later i don't know i'm more curious to see what's over here actually that's yeah, fine you rumble all you want big dog nothing okay Bird tree. Tribe assemble. Oh. Uh. -uh. Oh wow, that bubble is really nice. Tribe is strong. And I'm stealing your sunflowers. Magic shrouding. That must be protection. Okay, so we got protective tears. That's nice. End of the resistance. Begin that bubble to absorb like an impact. That's probably going to save my life. That's very useful. A free hit? Sign me up. Most things kill you in like two or three hits anyway, so a free hit's like adding 500 health to your health bar. Hell yeah, the Ooga Booga boys are back in town! Oh. Okay, it's just me. I thought something swiped at me. I'm like, hey! Hmm. It's like some cool last ruins over let's go visit those badass ruins and i jumped down over there but uh oh we just teleport instead <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was thinking about making this guy green, but I've really grown attached to his giant weird crackhead. Oh, the grass grew in front of me. Look at him. He looks like a fucked up crack addicted albino strawberry. I love him. He's great. Have I heard of Mortal Shell? I sure have heard of Mortal Shell. It's pretty good. It's not exactly for me, but maybe I ought to give it another try. That happens with me in Souls-like games. Also like Hellpoint. Hellpoint's good as well. But it's kind of funky. Playing those games feels like a fever dream sometimes, you know? It's like, this is like Dark Souls, but everything's all weird. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. If you're ready for change, if you're ready for a variation on things. Damn, that's a long way down. All right, well, to the church then. We'll figure out that later. I'm sorry, the ruins. I think that's ruins up there. My flowers. He's got piercing crossed eyes. Handmade, handcrafted character. OC, do not steal. Right, so maybe I do need to be up there. Go to Erd Tree. All right, well, we're just going to have to follow this wall around the other side, I think.
I'm interested to see that space cowboy. I own a copy of it and I got I got some time into it. I just didn't quite uh It didn't quite dig me. I didn't quite dig it like this. This this game here is something special. And there ain't no way I'm getting up there from over here, huh? All right. Even though this looks like it's a clear path, it is not a clear path. So I still got some adventuring to do. Maybe we just follow the road. You know, the rat method always works, and the rat method is you follow the edge of something and you just keep going. Screw it, let's try this jump. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, hey, I made it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there we go. I probably could have just jumped off there to begin with. I don't think that would have stopped me necessarily, but it was nice that we did it all fancy. Don't mess with the bear, it don't mess with you. Jellyfish, however, same deal. I like the jellyfish. Look at them go. They're just having fun. They like to play around the graveyards. They're emos, but it's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just don't touch them, they'll cry at you. That guy is not a friend. He looks like a friend, but he's not. Dark Souls 1 is where you learn to love pain. Hey, yeah, you know, it'll... It'll uh, grow some hair on your chest, that's for sure. All right, we got a dungeon here. Let's, let's knock out this dungeon. First things first. Get my lantern. I always pass it. I'm glad the skeletons aren't immortal anymore. The Dark Souls one and uh, I think Demon Souls had them too. The skeletons just wouldn't die no matter what. Those were kind of tough. I say that and they're gonna introduce some, aren't they? Yep, okay, something's reviving them though. I don't know what. Oh, it might be that thing. Goodness. An axe. Will I use it? I don't know. There is there an easy baby mode game for mode for journalists? There's a pause button mod. Which I'm not entirely against. I mean, Demon Souls lets you use photo mode to pause the game and it really didn't ruin it or anything. But I mean, you know, that's the thing about artistic vision. If you start nitpicking someone's artistic vision, it demoralizes them and then you don't get to see their finer, you know, points, right? 
so i i understand oh almost got hit by that one i understand why there's not a pause button it's like you know part of the design Ooh, that hurt these guys are getting help from somewhere gotta find the magic lever then we can go up and fight the boss unless there's two bosses didn't expect a crab oh i killed a baby crab oh now i feel terrible these guys are no harm they just like to party you know wrong with that you don't have the right you don't have the right you don't have the right i guess i don't have the right yeah i can't think of a simpler easy from soft game No way I gotta kill this crab though, right? It doesn't make any sense. It's not a secret wall either. Ow. Ow, ow. Maybe I ought to kill the crab. He just killed his own babies. Alright, fine. Crab battle it is. Oh, they're fighting each other! One might have a key on it, I don't know. Sorry, baby crabs. I don't know if one of you's got the key or not. They all gotta go. I'll do anything to complete a dungeon, even infant side, it's fine. They're just crabs, right? The entire point of this area was just to make me feel stupid. All right, well, mission accomplished. Good night, Spankyo. Yeah, we're we're getting pretty late. That's how addictive this game is. I, I've gotten no sleep, but I'm still just like zombed out to it. Well, where's the alternative area? I haven't failed one of these yet. Oh, there, I'm dead though. I have died in these before though. Oh, that's 300. I remember they made an easy mode for Sekiro by adding a button that slows down time. Which is cool that the engine was capable of that to begin with, right? But on the other end, it's like, hey, well, are you really like, are you really playing the game at that point? I suppose if you play it your way, you paid for it, so play it how you please. But a lot of the joy in this game is the difficulty. It's like an inseparable part of it. See, I didn't have to fight those guys. Just roll. Ah, you got me. Ambush skeleton. I mean, like, you know, if this ain't if this ain't it, right? Maybe this guy has to die. Maybe they got the key or something. I don't know. Been a while since we had to pull out the magic rod here. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Got 
unlimited fire bombs. What do they want out of me here? Twenty-four hour stream hour. Not there yet, Bob. We'll get there one day, though. One day soon. I don't understand the trick of this specific dungeon, though. It's a little obtuse. I gotta find a lever to open that up, but if I go downstairs, the rusty cage keeps me from progressing past the crabs. And there's that one really dangerous area that I didn't get a good look at because the skeleton keeps throwing firebombs at me. So... Uh, the trap that's insane i never would have thought that that message is really good oh my god okay going up that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy it's nonsense but we're up so that's good thank god i knew it was something in there i just didn't think you'd ride the guillotine Yep, I died two times. This dungeon's wacky. First of all, some of these skeletons are immortal. And second, there's a pit there. Try critical hit, strong foe ahead. Okay, D Hunter of the Dead. D, come to me. I'm gonna cap off my health while I'm at it, just in case this guy really does hit hard. Oh man, I should have brought the Ooga Booga tribe in for this guy. He's holding up. Oh, get bullied. Assassin dagger. Black knife print. Cool. And this takes me out of the dungeon, but we won't want to go out of the dungeon because we didn't get to the ashes part yet, which is probably down that one little pit area to my left. Fajitas, that sounds pretty good, Pain. That sounds pretty good. Here we go. Not today, skeleton. Not today.
I have to get some dinner in a bit, but this is an interesting dungeon. These dungeons repeat their themes, but I don't mind. Each one's pretty unique to play through, so, you know. And plus, how, how many times you gotta do a catacomb, really? I mean, they could change the colors, make one green, make one red, but, uh, nah, this makes sense. And there's like a rest spot right up here. I may as well go in with full flask. Making homemade mesa for tortillas, tortillas, tortillas. Sorry, I know how to say tortillas. I'm so used to people saying them, saying the word wrong. I want a tortilla. It's like, hey, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> get you a tortilla and a tomato what i'm making getting just a sandwich i like sandwiches i can always cut it in half and save part of it for later you know what i mean uh ooga booga tribe oh my god is that blackface bro is that fucking blackface it's literally the tree demon from smiling friends oh Well, I was right to get all my stuff back. I should have immediately cast Ooga Booga. That was my big mistake. As an animator, drink four or five cups of coffee a day. I'm liking some iced coffee. It's nice to just have it ready to go. Just throw in milk. No sugar. I don't need all that. Milk does the job. It's fine. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, he's a bitch, actually. He just does a lot of damage. With his friends. I got friends, too. Oh, no. And more death root. What is death root used for? I need to figure that out real quick. Beast, love it. Well, now that I got two more death root, maybe I need to talk to one of that one. I don't know. A lot of this stuff is mysterious. That being said, we did it. That that dungeon is done. We even got the runes back. <laughs> Space Cowboy goes, no, I'm literally a demon. This isn't blackface. that episode there's not a single bad episode of smiling friends dude moon says they know they have a minimum of a 1060 but if they wonder if there's any something that there's something lower probably not i'd assume that the minimum is a 1060 because of the ram and even if you meet the ram spec on a lesser card there's no guarantee that you're not going to bottleneck it right so maybe a lesser card would run if it's got like four gigabytes of video RAM, which I think is what it wants. But your mileage is definitely going to vary and the, I, there's not a fair chance that it's going to run well. I'll say that you're going to run into issues surely with a RAM bomb. Like I had a graphics card that had like a extra gigabyte of RAM and it was nice because it could load in extra textures, but it couldn't process them. So it was kind of redundant, right? I mean, it worked. You could load the game up and it wouldn't, like, you know, run out of memory or anything, but it was kind of pointless. So, I, I it's hard to say, but that's how I ran Dark Souls 1. I had a card that barely met spec. And it's like, well, technically it has enough RAM. I'm like, oh, all right. It ran like shit. I did play it, so, you know, hey, just booting the game up is something if you're really into it. Because God knows getting a PS5 is just as tough as getting a graphics card at a fair price, maybe even harder. Well then, 
I believe I've reached the end of my journey. Though I'd love to play some more. It's getting late and I need to I need to have a sane schedule. But I really had a lot of fun tonight. I'm glad y'all decided to come by, take a watch. It's good to see y'all. Pinata, Space Cowboy, Wiley. Chop slap. You're blessed with the 2080 Ti. Me too, chop slap. I got one like right before the Bitcoin craze really kicked in. Well, I got it at launch, but still, you know what I mean? The price was never gonna go down, so anybody's like, I'll wait for the price to go down on those 2080s. Well, they they were wrong. <laughs> they were just wrong. Anyhow, I gotta take off. Eat, enjoy your meal. Thank you, Payne. Yeah, I'm gonna have half a sandwich. Thanks for joining in, Wiley. It's good to see you. We'll talk soon. But I gotta, I gotta get some food and maybe like figure out sleep. So y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. We'll be back tomorrow with Dead by Daylight. That'll be a good time. And uh, well, I hope to see you then. If I don't see you, then I'll see you later. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. And thank you for the tips. Next, Fat Pretzel, Spackio, and Rose. Actually, it, it was just uh, Spankio and Rose, but I mean, I, I gotta go up. We streamed two times in one day here, technically, and my list here doesn't account, doesn't separate them by uh, minute or day. It's just day. Oh no, you just, I'm tired. I'm out of here. Good night, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow, about 9 p.m., dead by daylight. Be there, or I'll see you again later. Good night.